At the beginning of this year, I was probably at the lowest point of my adult life. I had no money, all my classes were online, and I was always lonely by myself doing nothing but sitting on my computer, watching videos to ignore the fact that I was really just depressed. It was a non-stop negative loop that took four months to get out of, and the only way to get out of it was to be more productive, meaning get more money, make more videos, and take more classes. A level of accountability which led to the most productive year of my life, but it also led to probably one of my saddest. Once I made the change to start filling my days up with more things to do, I had no expectations of what I would actually achieve. I just thought anything was better than nothing at all, but what I didn't expect was that going hard would leave me burnt out. At first, working in school gave me a place to be, a place to be busy, and a way to socialize or make money. But after time, the short-term high I got from being at school or putting a hard day at teaching and started to wear off. I soon became tired, and while I knew I had to maintain productivity, I really got no reward from it. I was being productive but at a cost. The energy I was putting in on a weekly basis was way too much in comparison to the achievements I was actually getting. For instance, with school I would drive to campus like an hour and 30 minutes prior to class just to talk and try to network and meet friends. And I did succeed in doing so, but none of those relationships lasted. I met a lot of what I would call school friends. People that I just talked to in the in-between before class or after, and we would never talk past that, so I never really made any deep connections. I didn't have high expectations going in, but I thought to some extent it would give me a social avenue. I guess sometimes we're not rewarded for the leaps and bounds that we do make. Sometimes we try stuff and we're not rewarded at all. But sometimes you do get rewarded. And the biggest dub for me this year was this YouTube channel, which I've wanted to have success at since I was about 12 years old. Here's my new channel. Kpurp27 has already subscribed to me. My other video. And just please, 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 please subscribe. Making videos was something that used to make me happy as a kid and in my teenage years, but soon it became a thing I hated doing because of the content I was making, which were video essays, and you can just tell from watching them that my heart wasn't into it. Like, there were so many audio mistakes and mispronunciations in them, but I didn't care. That's probably one of the main reasons why my channel did so bad back then. Though this past year I came back and started to make more personality-based videos and it made some of them go viral. In the peak of the summer, I was getting around 100,000 views a day and around 1,000 subscribers a week. At first, this was really exciting and gave me a sense of validation that people liked my content and thought I was funny, but after a while, there was a feeling of not being fulfilled by the numbers I was getting. There was an urgency for more. And when I got more, there was a feeling of emptiness. I thought getting views would make me happy. It actually did nothing for me. And when the views started to dip over the last two months and I tried to replicate the same formula as my biggest videos and got a fourth of the views, it made me depressed. I was still making more than the previous year, but to me, all I wanted was to keep growing. And I couldn't, and that led to burnout. It's funny because at my job, all my students want to be YouTube famous or have a little clout, but all I can think of now is that I'm sitting around 17,000 subscribers and just how much of a chore it is to run a channel and hope that the algorithm will push what you've made. Or how devastating it is to see how much a video has underperformed. It kind of deflates your mood and the cycle of feeling like that is non-stop. So for this year I want to make content I actually like making. Stuff that expands on what I did in 2022 while also keeping what people want to watch in mind. I just hope in the end it makes me feel better and the content better. Because if anything over the last year is that being productive doesn't bring fulfillment. It is about working towards something with goals in mind and recognizing the rewards you've received from it. Here, let me take a photo of it. I like this one. That's, that, okay. was, that was one I liked too. Uh,